selecting the correct main surge protection device should be a difficult task. That's why we put together our 18th edition guide to the wiring regulations. Within this guide, there's information which includes installation and risk assessment and also product selection. So, to select a product using the guide, we need to know a few pieces of information. We need to know, first of all, if external lightning protection is installed to the building, and if so, what level of lightning protection is installed. We also need to know what earthen arrangement there is on the building, so TNS, TNCS, TT, and also if the main supply is either single or three phase. Once we know these pieces of information, we can start the process. So the first question that we're going to ask is, does the building have structural lightning protection installed to BSEN 62305? If the answer is yes, then we move towards a 62305 type device. Within the guide, we do have a table which gives all the different types of device dependent on the level of lightning protection that's installed and also the earthen arrangement and phase. If the building does not have external lightning protection installed, then we're looking at a 18th edition 7671 type device. So what we need to know for this device, for the main distribution board, is whether the building is being fed by overhead power line, or if the building main distribution board is feeding outside. So for example, electric gates, EV charging points. If so, then we're looking at a type one and two device. If it doesn't, so below the ground, not feeding outside the building, then it will be a type two. And again, we need to know just the phase, and also the earthen arrangement. So with one or two very simple questions, we've already got to the exact part number, the exact device for your installation. Then once we've got the correct main distribution board device selected, we can move on to sub distribution boards. So with sub distribution boards, again, just a couple of questions that we need to ask. So first of all, is the sub distribution board more than 50 meters from the main distribution board? Does it feed outside of the building? If it does, or if it is further than 50 meters, then again, type one and two device. If it's over 10 meters, but doesn't feed outside of the building, then we're looking at a type two device. Final consideration is fine protection or type three devices. Type three devices are typically installed within five meters of the terminal equipment. Terminal equipment meaning anything from servers to computers, anything of particular importance or value that we're looking to protect. These devices are very simple to select. We only need to know the phase. So whether it's three phase or single phase, uh, we have two types of device. One device is DIN rail mountable, so a modular device. The second being a three wire connection, which can be installed inside trunking or within ceilings. Uh, or anywhere else where a DIN rail mountable device isn't suitable. The guide is available in a A4 document. We also have a wall chart available, uh, but if you would prefer a soft copy, you can download it on our website, which is www.kingswellindustries.com.